Hi, welcome to Getting Started in Small Talk, Installing Visual Works. My name is Arden Thomas. I'm the Syncom Small Talk Product Manager. Today we're going to show you how to install and start up Visual Works, which is one of our, our premier Small Talk products from, from Syncom Systems. Any comments or suggestions you have to the screencast, please send them to me, my, uh, myself, Arden Thomas. I'm at athomas at syncom.com. So let's get started. If you if you are a customer or you downloaded the uh, personal use license copy, you got an ISO file, much like the one we have right here. What you want to do to first get started is go to that file. This is this is in Windows, Windows 10. Right click on it, open with. And I see I have some options here. Before Windows 10, I used a a uh, third-party piece of software called Virtual Clone Drive to mount the ISO. But as of, I believe, Windows 8 and certainly Windows 10, it's built in to open up ISO files. So right here you can choose Windows Explorer and it mounts that ISO. Since we're installing it on Windows, we'll come right down to here to install Win and double-click on it. Do you want to make allow this application to make changes? Yes. Okay. You can take the defaults, uninstall. I'm going to choose custom install because I like to have it located to a specific place. So I'll be installing, in, in this case, VisualWorks 8.3.2. Uh, you may receive our current personal use license is VisualWorks 8.3. That gets updated in major releases. So we're going to choose Next here. Now it says, OK, where do I want to install it? And I'm going to put that in my directory here, which is VW8.3.2. And I can browse for that as well. OK, components. There's a lot of pre-selected components, basically the ones that you need. Uh, what might you want to do if you're interested in working with Cairo Graphics in the future, you could choose those. Um, if you want to work with uh, .NET, you can choose that. Internationalization, if you're using Japanese, you could deselect that if you're not using that. And the rest is pretty much, pretty much standard if you're a customer. You actually get the source code to the virtual machines, which you can also install right here. You can leave this checked here, have the, the project shortcut on the desktop, and just say Next and Install. And away we go. And I can see that being installed right here my VW 8.3.2 directory. And we're done. I can exit this. So now we have it installed. How do we start up the application? How do we start up the product? By far the simplest way is if we simply come to our desktop icon, which will be called VisualWorks Projects. If you click on that, it basically allows you to create a project or an image. I have a number here already here. Yours will be blank if you're installing this for the first time. Now, it installed here both the ability to run 32-bit Smalltalk and 64-bit. I'm going to create a new 32-bit project. I'll call it Test Run and say OK. And there we go. I have Test Run in, I can come into here and help about and see that I'm running VisualWorks 8.3.2. It tells me that right here as well. And so here is the product up and running. If I shut this down, exit it, and I wish to run that again, I can go back to my projects. And here it is, test run, and this opens it back up. That is the, the most straightforward way to get started. One alternate I'll just quickly mention 
is if you go to the, the bin image, let's see, Windows, there is a configuration settings right here. And this says for which version where basically to find it. Make sure it's where you have things set up for the version you're running. We're running 8.3.2 right here. So it has the proper directory. You want to make sure of that. And then you can simply go and as long as your properties are set up properly, you can go and click right on the, the image itself. So you would come back, go to the image directory, and click on visual, it would start something up and you would immediately save it because this is this is the this is your prototypical image right here. You want to save that, save image as let's see, I'll, I'll call this one test. And I'll save that. Now I've got that in here, and to open that back up, I can simply click on it, double click on it to open that back up. But if it's your first time, I would recommend using the, the project launcher that we used right here. Any questions? Oh, also, I should mention they're in the, in the main directory, VisualWorks 8.3.2, there is an install PDF file that has lots of details as well. Any comments or suggestions, please send them to athomas at syncom.com. Thank you for watching.